Do you want a modular filament dryer that can store your filament too? Well, here you go. Today we have the pleasure of looking at the Cheeto Systems Filla Partner E1. This is a filament dryer capable of drying four spools of filament across two individual heating zones. But the thing that sets it apart, the thing that made me want to review this machine, the standout feature in my book is the modularity. So let me walk you through the unboxing and setup like usual. Then I want to cover some of the standard machine features that we see. And finally, we'll do some comparison prints with a wet spool of TPU before and after, just to show you how well it dries. People say I have dry humor, so this episode's gonna be hilarious. For starters, this is the box. It's similar to other boxes, but this one has more boxes inside of it. And when we remove the dryer boxes from the initial box, we open them up to find some PTFE tubing and the power cable. There's also desiccant packets in these little compartments below the rollers, and everything here is pretty easily removed and snaps back into place nicely. So for the filament dryer boxes themselves, that's about all that's going on. But going deeper into the initial box, we find the other half of this product. This is where the party happens. This is the actual filament dryer portion of this product. This base here houses the actual dryers and fans, but it also has the controls for the unit. Turning on the base now, we're met with a fairly simple, familiar, but robust kind of user interface that allows you to set up your dryer. And it's pretty straightforward. There's things like filament presets available. You can of course set your duration and drying temperature. You can choose which box you want to heat. You can even set those individual boxes to different temperatures and dry them individually. And you can do things like save your specific presets if you've got a repeated part of your workflow that requires drying. So the thing's pretty good straight off the bat, but I'm seeing a slight issue. This screen isn't the most responsive screen that I've ever poked. I don't know if it's just me or what the case is, but for some reason it doesn't seem like the screen's registering my inputs all that well. It's not all the time, but it's frequent enough that I can't actually determine if the machine is lagging or if I'm just not pushing directly on the right spot. It's not a huge deal, but it is absolutely worth noting. Especially because Cheeto Systems provided this free of charge, it's important to me that I nitpick this machine as much as possible. You know, transparency and all that garbage. And on the topic of nitpicking and not being biased by being given free stuff, some of the plastics on this machine are kind of flimsy. Like the rollers are kind of cheap feeling and the lids kind of wobble around. I guess generally the thing feels a little bit cheap maybe. Now I'm not sure what price point this was built to or how much this thing's gonna cost, but if I had to guess this wasn't meant to be the most premium top end thing that you could possibly buy. It was probably made to a price point that's acceptable for things to be a little bit flimsy. But these are things you need to keep in mind as we move forward. Now that I've applied my criticisms, we need to talk about the things that excite me. Now, none of these features are groundbreaking in their own right, but there is a lot of cool stuff going on here. For starters, we got two boxes that sit on this base. Since the base does the drying, you can actually remove the box and set it aside for storage. Once the filament's dried inside of its box, it can easily be stacked somewhere in the corner, on top of other boxes even, and your filament will stay dry. So the modularity, that's super cool. I like that. Y'all like that? I also like that it can dry things individually. So if you've got something like TPU on one side and PETG on the other side, you can still dry them both at the same time. You're not committed to one temperature or one duration of drying. They're individual. Now, of course, the boxes themselves have filament outlets on either side, so that allows you to print directly from the box without having to expose your filament to the moisture of the air. But the thing that I think is so clever is the way they keep the boxes sealed. So if you look at the bottom here, there are these ports. These need to be there so when the thing sits on the dryer base, the fans can circulate the drying air throughout the box. The box needs to be open. But what do you do when you want to close the box? You want to just store your dried filament. You need to close those ports, right? Well, you move these little plates here. Now these plates are magnetic and that's good for two reasons. 
First, they stick super easily and plug up the hole like you need them to. No need to worry if you've snapped something in all the way or if you have everything centered perfectly. The magnets just line it up and it sticks to the box. And the other thing that this allows, the second advantage that I like about the magnets, is storing that thing while it's not in use. When using other dryers, if you pull the plug out of the bottom, where do you put the plug? While the thing's sitting on the dryer base, you've just got this plug floating around in the universe just waiting to get eaten by your crazy dog. Well, with this one, you just take it off the port, you move it into the stored position, and you go about your life. Don't even think about it ever again. This is something that's so hugely valuable and is incredibly simple. These are the things that I like to see and they're features that really stand out to me. I imagine you would like it as well. Now there's other features that this thing has like automatic drying for example. That senses if the humidity in the box rises above 50% and then it automatically kicks on to bring it down below 25%. And the base has things like box detection, where if you remove a box while it's doing a dry cycle, it'll automatically shut off so you're not trying to blow hot air into your room. There's even a silent mode that if you don't need to dry this thing super fast and you'd rather the thing be silent, you can trade a little bit of efficiency for a longer dry time and a quieter operation. These are all great features that make this an excellent unit if you ask me, or if you ask anybody, I imagine. Now while we move on with some testing here, I want to talk to you about something. Cheeto Systems is a sponsor of the giveaway that we're doing on our second channel. And they're offering three free spools of their fancy PLA that they have. If you want to be one of those lucky winners, just go to our second channel. It's called You Like That. You Like That? Yeah, you like that. You need to watch the first challenge video that we have, which is called We Draw Random Filament, and listen for the special phrase in that video. It's the phrase that happens after I say this is the special phrase. From there, you can fill out an entry form in the description and that will get you entered. As soon as that video hits 50,000 views, entries are closed and we will draw winners and begin sending out prizes. So go check that out if you like free stuff and let us know what you think of that content. Now back to this filament that I left in my garage. Previously I tried a similar test with waterlogged filament because my garage is very humid because we're in the Midwest and it's summer and it's humid. Now when I tried this previously the stuff was so waterlogged that it clogged up my printer. The print wouldn't complete successfully and that was kind of a bummer. Now this spool's been out there a few weeks so probably it's going to be worse or it's not going to do anything different or maybe the print will complete, I don't know. But I'm going to load this up and try printing with it and hope for the best and then I'm going to dry it and do the same thing again. Let's see how it goes. So there we have it, another filament dryer hits the market, but this one I feel like has a little bit more to offer. The modularity of the system combined with the straightforward attitude of the interface makes the addition of the Philip Partner E1 super convenient in my workflow at least. If you've got a filament drying need, you should probably check this one out. If you've got a dry filament storage need, you should probably check this one out. Thanks to Cheetah Systems for sending this one over. Sorry I said the plastic feels a little bit cheap. I hope we can still be friends. Check out the second channel to see all the things that were given away and get your entries in so you won't be missed. Bye.